Hey, what's up, hello, y'all? It's your girl, Mama Goddess. You know what time it is. I'm here for my quick little nugget, y'all. So you know what's up. Spirit talks to me through the music. Spirit will talk to y'all through the music as well. Um, I'm just coming on here for a real quick nugget regarding love, all right? Now, um, you know, Spirit talks to me through the music, y'all, guys. I'm throwing it back, okay? So a throwback, there we go, soulmates, okay? Throwback is a deep connection. All right, you know, that 90s music, that's where the real love was here, right? The real R&B here. So my question to Spirit is actually, you know, hey, Spirit, help us recognize the divine partnership here so that we know, hey, is this something that we're in right now? Are we working towards it? Or is it something that we have to leave here, okay? So some of you guys, it's a love tie, a love tie, <laughs> a soul tie that you're in love with here, okay? Soul tie, I mean, it sounds really bad, but, you know, a soul tie is just as deep as a soulmate connection, all right, but it will be on a lower vibration. So, you know, there may be a lot of arguments, you know, there may be a lot of fighting, a lot of disagreements. It could be good sex here, right? My mind's telling me, no, I know that this ain't the person for me, but my body, right? So it's like you're pleasing my physical, but you're not pleasing my mental, you're not pleasing my soul here, okay? So be careful about that, right? Um, a divine partnership is not worldly, okay? It's more spiritually, okay? Or just more at a soul level. Now, that does not mean that you cannot be attracted to your person, okay? Because <laughs> you absolutely can't here, okay? <laughs> All right, spirit. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with a love and grind, guys. <laughs> All right, spirit. So help us recognize what does a true divine partnership look like here? All right. I just keep on hearing um, love, lovers, and the lovers card is passion. The lovers card does represent sex here, okay? Um, and it is between two people that really understand who they are here, okay? Because I understand who I am. I understand who you are, and we can come together. We can. Do I want to say, not transmute, but infuse our energy to make magic here, okay? All right, so, um, love, right? Love is the only thing that matters, right? So what does that look like here? <laughs> Sent from heaven, right? What does that look like? Spirit is really with the passion here, all right? So, you know, it's passion, right? It's light, it's entertaining, it's fun, it feels good here, right? It satisfies, right? Your every need. So we're talking about your physical, we're talking about your mental, we're talking about your spiritual here, okay? Because it's a complete package, right? And that doesn't mean that, you know, you won't get on my nerves, right? Done, done, done. It doesn't mean that, you know, I won't wanna throw in the red flag here. But it, it means that I recognize when I'm in that energy that I need to, or you need to, invite something new into the connection. Or if we can't, right, if I can't unlock my heart, if I can't let you in or you can't let me in, I recognize that, I honor that, I respect that here. Maybe we gotta take a break, right? Or we just gotta figure out how we can make it work here, okay? But it's chemistry, guys, all right? I feel like this is like that and I did feel like that so infused right I feel like transformation I feel like the magician here okay um, so the magician it is my magic stick card so I am getting like a lot of sexual energy here but the beautiful thing about the magician is like he can transmute any situation any type of energy here right because I use my inner strength so that means when I know that you're mad, right? I can get in my ego and I can be mad too, right? Or I can transmute that whole situation. I can give you exactly what you need so that we can come together, right? So that we can be cuffing, so that we can be good here, so that we can secure this foundation and this connection, all right? So we're talking about then, you know, less ego, more of the heart space here, okay? And guys, this right here is like the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is spirituality here. Guys, I just see some birds here, right? And I've never seen a bird fly past my window for any other reading. Um, but they're making their appearance known today, guys. So we'll see what that means here. But um, it's kind of just throwing me off a little bit. 
I don't even know where I was going here. But let's see. I have my spirit. What else? <laughs> what else, spirit? Yeah, guys. All right. All right. So we're talking about vulnerability here. I think that's where I was going. <laughs> I think that's where I was going here, okay? Um, because we have emotional baggage, insecurities, and relationship foundations here, okay? So the biggest thing is, you know, of course, always make sure that you're holding complete within yourself here. So somebody is not carrying your emotional baggage onto the new connection here, okay? That's the biggest thing. But outside of that, this is somebody that you can trust. All right. So even when I'm feeling really down, right, even when I'm hurt to my core, all right, even when all my past experiences have put me in a position where I don't really have that faith, can I trust you? All right. All right. It's never anybody else's job to make us feel whole and complete here, but we will have those opportunities. We will have those moments. So in that moment, are you going to add on to it? Are you going to make me feel better? Right. Are you going to tease me for my vulnerabilities here? Are you going to put that hurt even, are you going to put even more hurt on me? So then I don't open up for you or nobody else here. Okay, so we're talking about vulnerability and that's talking about being stripped down, right? And I'm not talking about taking your clothes off, all right? It's like, who can love you like me? Like, who can give you what you need, right? So this is, you know what? Your soul, I know what your soul needs, right? I know how much jelly you need for that sandwich, okay? So this is, you know what, I'm touching into your soul. I don't care about the physical, right? <laughs> Somebody who is gonna be your strength when you're weak, right? Or I'll be your strength when you're weak, or you be mine, right? Okay? All right, guys, and then we have the foundation, relationship foundations here, okay? So this is the truth. This is the honesty, right? Because we're building on a solid foundation. That doesn't mean I'm not going to ever hurt your feelings. It doesn't mean that you're not ever going to make me mad, but I trust you, right? You're my friend. You're my homie. You're my lover, okay? And I trust you. So it's like because of that, I know that this cannot be shaken, all right? It's a home, right so we're talking about a home right because this is like a foundation this is like a home so this is like you know you're not just giving strangers a key to your house right you're not doing that so you know keep your foundation sacred keep your relationship sacred okay maybe don't be telling all your business here all right it doesn't really matter what you know mom and pop's relationship look like or your friend's relationship look like here this is perfectly with you and your person all right don't get wrapped up in the worldly things thinking about hey it should look like this it should look like that but it feels good to you all right this is you can build something right turn this house into a home okay y'all can build it to be whatever you want it to be as long as you guys see that right so do we see a future together are we there all right your life is this my life is that i understand that you've been through that i've been through this here but together can we come together and make it work here right the path ain't gonna be easy always but it should be more fun than it should be draining okay that's definitely a sign all right um so yeah truth and honesty guys um quality time that's very important all right and it's respect and boundaries and work it's effort all right it's effort because you think about you, okay so you think about a home and you got to keep the maintenance up on the home right a home that was built 30 years ago is not going to be the same condition that it you know it won't be in the same condition 30 years from now that it was 30 years ago all right you have to put the maintenance in. you have to continue put in the work here and that's the same thing with the relationship here all right i'm trying to be i'm trying to be with this new you here Right? Because I know you're going to change. I know you're going to grow. Right? But I'm willing to do that with you here. All right? And if not, that's okay too. But people have to acknowledge that and not be in something, right, where there is no room for growth here. You can't do that. Right? It's not good for your soul. Okay? We have foundations, we have passion, we have emotional baggage.
communication. <laughs> All right. So the three of swords. All right. Um, that is that does talk about communication, right? Swords is communication. All right. Three is just, you know creating something new here. So from those situations, right, that are going to be a little bit uncomfortable, right? Maybe they're going to be arguments. Maybe they're going to be disagreements. Maybe some pain. All right. We have to be able to talk those through. We have to be able to express ourselves here. Okay. We definitely don't want to be sitting and holding this type of pain in. Nothing is going to flourish. All right, that home is not going to be built on a solid foundation. Now I don't trust you. Now I'm watching. You know, nobody wants that type of energy. All right, this is saying, hey, in the deepest of my pain, can I talk to you? Threes are about creation. So can we create a new situation? Can we heal from that? Can we create a new reality here based on expressing what needs to be said here so that we're not holding it in? guys yeah because the star card is here at the bottom of the deck guys right star is healing is wish fulfillment all right is patience no this is the sun card all right um but that's exactly it's the same thing as the star energy here okay all right so this is all about kind of bringing a new energy into a situation where you know things are just low right and this type of energy, look how gray it is, right? If things do not get expressed or people don't talk or somebody doesn't release, this is how stagnant the connection can be, right? Spirit is saying, don't let that be you, okay? So such thing is perfect. You define your own definition of perfect. Don't ever forget that. Remember, we all have a choice here, right? So accountability here. We all have a choice. We all have a choice. You can't want love, but want to hold on to pain. You can't want love, but cause the pain. <laughs> right? Guys, vulnerability will let a uh, vulnerability will allow just <laughs> new worlds to be created here. All right? Don't be a stranger in your own home to your person, okay? Don't sleep with a stranger. Don't act like you don't care about somebody if you really do here. All right, communication is the key. All right, if I tell you something and you're not feeling it, well, guess what? That might hurt, but it is allowing the door for my happiness elsewhere. Or it just might be that my happiness is right here and we're going to be able to clear the air. All right? It's a beautiful spirit. So I love you guys. As always, you know what to do. Talk to your girl. I'll tell back y'all. Peace.